Hi, my name is Ed. I live in Southern California. I look out the window and I can see Mexico and the Pacific Ocean here. I have uh, voted almost exclusively Republican my entire life. I'm a Christian, married for 46 years, three adult children, very successful, and uh, three and a half grandchildren that we love. When uh, Trump was nominated by the Republican Party in 2016, I thought this would probably destroy the Republican Party. When he was elected in November, I felt that this was a very, very bad thing uh, for the, U the U.S., for America. But I thought that uh, with some good advisors, he would muddle along and uh, embarrass himself a bit, but uh, probably get through it okay. Turns out he is far, far worse than I expected. His deference to Russia and to Putin was very obvious from the beginning during his candidacy. And uh, one of the when the one of the first things he did was uh, um, fire Comey. Uh, it was obvious that he was trying to uh, trying to interrupt and, and uh, interfere with the with the uh, investigation that was going on regarding the Russian uh, interference in the election. Although the interference was not very obvious, it was sufficient to uh, give me enough doubt to not vote for Hillary. I certainly didn't vote for Trump, and I, I regret not voting for Hillary. But. Uh, People have asked the question many times, why does he give deference to Putin? Why does he admire and show loyalty to Putin? I think the question, the answer to that question is probably irrelevant. The fact is, he shows deference to Putin against our own intelligence services and anyone else that has served in the military uh, that uh, understands the adversarial relationship we have with Russia. I was encouraged when the uh, special counsel, Robert Mueller, was appointed and the investigation of the Russian interference with the election began. What was very concerned about the obvious obstruction of that uh, investigation that Trump um, was involved in, that uh, was obvious from the very beginning. And uh, other things that uh, became apparent that caused great concern, uh, we frequently criticized the intelligence services. Then in 2018, when the uh, Mueller report was uh, finally released, uh, in spite of uh, Attorney General Barr's obvious misrepresentation of it, over a thousand former, former federal prosecutors signed a statement saying that the evidence presented by Mueller would result in multiple felony indictments uh, for anyone other than the president. I'm very encouraged by those that are beginning to speak up, former Republicans, current and former Republicans, that uh, clearly see the danger that he presents to our country. And I would encourage uh, anyone to uh, former Republicans to vote for Biden. Anything, anybody to remove Trump from office.